ROG would get the latest local news straight to your inbox every day back in the Middle Ages British wool was famous for its fineness due to starvation rather than the result of a successful breeding program for fine wool. In those days sheep were regarded as the golden hoof that improved the fertility of the land. Their diet was not supplemented with valuable cereals or scarce fodder during the winter months, and they were left to scavenge over common grazing and fellow fields to spread their muck. Undernourished sheep fail to develop fleeces to their full genetic potential and yield light fleeces of finer wool. Matters were made worse by the widespread custom in those days of milking sheep during the spring and summer. In Britain the cow began to replace the milking ewe after the Black Death. But some of our most famous cheeses, such as Wensleydale and Cheddar, have their origins in the large numbers of ewes that used to be milked in those areas. Milking sheep goes back to the dawn of agriculture, and although the cow has now replaced the milking ewe as the primary supplier of milk in Northern Europe, large numbers are still milked across Southern Europe, the Balkans, the Middle East and North Africa. Spanish Manchego French Roquefort, Greek feta and Italian Pecorino are world-famous cheeses. To put things in perspective, the total number of milking ewes in Greece, Italy, France, and Spain is 16.3 meters, while the total number of milking goats is about half, that at 8 meters. The majority of milking ewes in the EU are in Greece with 6.1 meters, Italy has 5.7 meters, while Spain has 2.9 meters and France 1.6 meters. It is reckoned there are about 200 sheep dairy farms in Britain, milking some 20,000 ewes. One of the most important characteristics of sheep milk is that it is naturally homogenized. The very small size of the fat globules means that they remain mixed evenly throughout the milk, rather than rising to the top like cream.